Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. I'd like us to go back to Proverbs today, to chapter 21, beginning with verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. He directs it like a water course wherever he pleases. Now the next verse. All a man's ways seem right to him, but the Lord weighs the heart. All a man's ways seem right to him. All a man's ways. Not a few, not some, not 50-50. This is what the Bible says. You and I do things because it seems right to us. We think things because we think it's right. We feel things because we feel that's right. We do things because we think that that's right. We, we act in a certain way because we think that that's right. Most of the time in our lives, we don't go around and do things that we know purposely are wrong. All a man's ways seem right to him. In our own life, and I hear people saying, well, in my opinion, in my thoughts, in my life, what they're basically saying is, as far as I'm concerned, this is right. Now, every one of us lives like this, but we need to be humble enough sometimes to admit that, forgive me, our opinion sucks. What we think is not right. What we're doing is not right. What we feel is not right. See, God weighs the heart. God weighs the attitudes and the emotions and the motivations and the thoughts and the real intentions. And God gets down at a level that sometimes, forgive me, is even deeper than the level we're thinking of about ourselves. God really understands us. I would challenge you today. The only way I know to, to separate right and wrong in life is to read the Bible. The only way I know to separate, you know, what God is speaking to my life or what my own desires are is the sharp double-edged sword, as the book of Hebrews says, of the Word of God. I would encourage you, spend more time reading the Bible. Just because everybody else is doing something, just because that's what the majority feel, doesn't make it right. And forgive me, just because you and I in our own opinion think it's right, doesn't make it right. Let's come to God and be humble enough to let God weigh our hearts and let God work on our hearts. I've often said that when I was a young man, I thought things like smoking and drinking and pornography and lust and all those things, I thought those were the really hard things. And they're not. These things of the heart, these are the really hard ones. And the older you get and the longer you serve the Lord, the more you realize all those other things, those things are like loose dirt. When God starts working on our hearts, that's the hard part. Let's be humble enough and be willing to admit when God touches our heart and says, no, that's not right. I know you think it's right. I know it seems right to you, but no, that's not right.